and the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. And today, today we celebrate the feast of Saint Therese of the Child Jesus. As we prepare ourselves, let us take a moment asking forgiveness for our sins. Have mercy on us, O Lord. We have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Well, let us pray. O God, who open your kingdom to those who are humble and to little ones, lead us to follow trustingly in the little way of St. Therese, so that through her intercession we may see your eternal glory revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. During the Babylonian captivity, the exiles prayed, Justice is with the Lord our God, and we today are flushed with shame, we men of Judah and citizens of Jerusalem, that we, with our kings and rulers and priests and prophets, and with our ancestors, have sinned in the Lord's sight and disobeyed him. We have neither heeded the voice of the Lord our God, nor followed the precepts which the Lord set upon us. From the time the Lord led our ancestors out of the land of Egypt until the present day, we have been disobedient to the Lord our God, and only too ready to disregard his voice. And the evils and the curse that the Lord enjoined upon Moses, his servant, at the time he led our ancestors forth from the land of Egypt to give us the land flowing with milk and honey, cling to us even today. For we did not heed the voice of our Lord our God in all the words of the prophets whom he sent us, but each one of us went off after the devices of our own wicked heart, served other gods, and did evil in the sight of the Lord our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. O oh God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the corpses of your servants as food to the birds of heaven and the flesh of your faithful ones to the beasts of the earth. The glory of your name, O oh Lord, deliver us. They have poured out their blood like water round about Jerusalem, and there is no one to bury them. We have become the reproach of our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. O oh Lord, how long? Will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? For the glory of your name, O oh Lord, deliver us. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. For the glory of your name, O oh Lord, deliver us. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name, deliver us and pardon our sins from your name's sake. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to them, Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. Whoever listens to you listens to me. 
Whoever rejects you rejects me, and whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Who has a good memory? I have a good memory. Thank you, Dennis. I've got the book in front of me. So, the test is, what was the opening verse of yesterday's Gospel? Had to do with numbers. From 72. Wonderful! <laughs> Praise God, 72. Yes, listen. Jesus appointed 72 other disciples, whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. And so that was verses 1 to 12 yesterday, and now it's 13 to 16. So it's continuing on. So sending them out, and the 72 scripture scholars think it relates to something from the Old Testament, thinking of Noah, and supposedly Noah had how many grandchildren? 72. 72. And now, yesterday, Jesus sent out 72. So there was a lot of work to be done, and 12 wasn't enough. He sent out 72. So more could be done. More places could be evangelized, more people could hear the good news, could hear the message that Jesus came to bring. And so, obviously, they did a pretty good job on all those people way back then because they had no idea where Stuart, Florida was way back then. And yet here we are today and we have heard the word because of the dedication of the 12, the 72, and all those others in the towns that they went to in the villages. Jesus sent them out and he intended to come after. So he said, you're going to prepare, but not just the 72, but all the people who would hear the 72 proclaiming the good news. And so at the end, what we heard today, whoever listens to you, listens to me. Whoever rejects you, rejects me and whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me so that was said to them way back then and it's said to us today so on our shoulders there's a lot of responsibility we are the people at this moment in time the 72 the people who have heard god's word and we are the people entrusted to continue proclaiming it not just by our words, but by our actions. It can appear very challenging at times, but we need to do nothing more than focus on the saint of today, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, Saint Therese of Lisieux, Saint Therese the Little Flower, and her spirituality we think of the Little Way on Sister Martina's name day. And so, the little way. So that's what we have to focus on, is the little way. And what Therese of the Child Jesus of Lisieux, the little flower, in speaking of the little way, she was talking about, it's really all about every day and the ordinary things of every day, how we approach them, how we do them. Because as most of us know, our days are pretty repetitive. And especially the most beautiful part of repetition is getting to Mass every morning, if you're able to be here. That's what's beautiful. And so this is like a place where we get our batteries charged spiritually to go out, to be like the 72, and all those who, others who heard the word back then. So we are to follow the little way. In the mundane things of every day, in the little tasks that we do every day that can seem repetitive and boring, that we approach them the way that Therese did. So, this morning, most likely, you brushed your teeth. 
so a little way. Boring, or boring as it may appear, or whatever your attitude is, sometimes it's just we do it without thinking, or as we're doing it, we see another wrinkle or losing more hair in the mirror. But what is it that's important about that? We can take that moment of brushing our teeth and thinking. How blessed I am as a man came to me after the last Mass and said, Father, you made me realize I'm grateful that I still have teeth. And so even that, that's the little way, being appreciative that I have teeth to clean. But that also, when you think of it, plaque will form if I don't clean them, then I'll have major issues when I go to the dentist, it's going to cost me more. So if I take this moment and conscious of what I'm doing and taking care of self because, doctors tell us, the health of our whole body, our whole body, is impacted by the care we have towards our teeth and our gums. So that's something we do. Next time you brush your teeth, think of St. Therese in a little way, and that you're on your way to St. Therese. That's what it's about. Think about those of you who may be going to work, but nearly everybody here, I'm sure, has a computer. And you get emails. So the next email you open, it's in the workplace, or maybe it could be from somebody you know. You open it and you go, how dare they? Who do they think they are speaking to me like that? Why would they say that? Why express that tone of voice in their email? And so what's our response? A reaction, not a response. Therese, in a little way, would be, Think about that person who sent you the email. I wonder what's going on in their life. I wonder why are they so frustrated. I wonder what's caused them to write in this way to me. And so then, I don't react, but I respond. Because whoever listens to you, listens to me. Whoever listens to me, listens to the one who sent me. Whoever rejects you, rejects Christ and rejects God. So, on our shoulders, a lot of responsibility of the way we respond rather than reacting. That's why it's good to think about it. And then, one that everybody has to do, whether you have a dishwasher or not, washing the dishes. When you wash the dishes, do you go, I'll do it quickly, just let the water run, stick it in the dishwasher. But why not, before we have dishwashers, and if you're by yourself, it's unlikely you're using a dishwasher all the time. So, think, when I next wash a plate, cup, whatever, this cup, this plate needs to be washed because it's dirty. Why is it dirty? Because there was food on the plate. And the food nourished my body. Wow, how grateful I am that I was able to dirty a plate today with food. How grateful I am that a farmer somewhere went, planted seed, that the sunshine and the rain nourished and the farmer cared for, and the people that sometimes we forget about who picked the crops, who put it in the baskets, do whatever, to the person who brought it to the store, to the person in the store who put it on the shelf, to the person at the checkout. So the next time you wash a plate, you have an opportunity to be conscious, not just of the food, but of the people along the food chain who brought the dirty plate to you. That's what taking each day, living in God's love, appreciating God's love, sharing God's love, by the way we treat others. We say at the end of Mass, go in peace, serving God by the way you live your life today. That's about our time, talent, and treasure. The little way is 
taking my time, my talent and my treasure, using it to build up God's kingdom, to teach by my words, by the gift of my presence, by what I will say and what I will do today as I meet people, as I interact with them, whether it's electronically, on a telephone, or the checkout in the store. May we glorify God today when we leave here by what we say and what we do and our appreciation for all the blessings and those who bestow the blessings upon us. Let us stand and pray. Trusting in the God of justice, we now bring before him the needs of all our neighbours throughout the world. From Pope Francis and all the clergy, may God grant them the strength and courage in teaching the word of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a greater respect for life throughout the world, from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people struggling with addictions, may God's grace and courage fill their hearts and give them strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for this faith community, may Jesus strengthen us as we seek to build God's kingdom here on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, marked with the sign of faith, may they soon be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those persons whose names are written in our box of petitions, and for all the intentions that we hold in the depths and silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of justice and love, all we have is from you. Hear our prayers and grant them according to your will. In the name of Jesus, your Son, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders and centuries, O Lord, we humbly implore you that as for merits were pleasing to you, so too our truthful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, hold your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna.
who art indeed holy, O Lord, the taught of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new soul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you called us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one of the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Gerald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Remembering the words that Jesus taught us, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And and with your spirit. Spirit. Let us acknowledge our willingness to be peacemakers. Lamb of God, take you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold Jesus our Savior, 
Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, kindle in us the force of that love with which St. Therese dedicated herself to you and long to obtain your mercy for all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying God, by following the little way. Thank you, God. And have a wonderful day. We do follow you. Oh, God, we adore you.
Today is First Friday, therefore we are celebrating the act of consecration to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. I give myself and consecrate to the Sacred Heart of our Lord Jesus Christ, my person and my life, my actions, pains, and sufferings, so that I may be unwilling to make any use of part of my being other than to honor, love, and glorify the Sacred Heart. This is my unchanging purpose, namely to be all his, and to do all things for the love of him, at the same time renouncing with all my heart whatever is displeasing to him. I therefore take you, O Sacred Heart, to be the only object of my love, the guardian of my life, my assurance of salvation, the remedy of my weakness and inconstancy, the atonement for all the faults of my life, and my sure refuge at the hour of death. Be then a part of goodness, my justification before God the Father, and turn away from me the strokes of his righteous anger. O heart of love, I put all my confidence in you, for I fear everything from my own goodness and frailty, but I hope for all things from your goodness and bounty. Remove from me all that can displease you or resist your holy will. Let your pure love imprint your image so deeply upon my heart that I shall never be able to forget you or to be separated from you. May I obtain from all your loving kindness the grace of having my name written in your heart, for it is you I desire to place all my happiness and glory, living and dying in bondage to you. Amen. Sacred heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity, one God, heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father, heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the Virgin Mother's womb, heart of Jesus, substantially united in the Word of God, heart of Jesus, of infinite majesty, Heart of Jesus, holy temple of God. Heart of Jesus, tabernacle of the Most High. Heart of Jesus, house of God and gate of heaven. Heart of Jesus, glowing furnace of charity. Heart of Jesus, vessel of justice and love. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love. Heart of Jesus, abyss of all virtues. Heart of Jesus, most worthy of all praise. Heart of Jesus, King and center of all hearts. Heart of Jesus, in whom all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells all the fullness of the Godhead. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we have all received. Heart of Jesus, desire of the everlasting hills. Heart of Jesus, patient and rich in mercy. Heart of Jesus, rich to all who can call upon you. Heart of Jesus, fount of life and holiness. Heart of Jesus, propitiation for our offenses. Heart of Jesus, overwhelmed with reproaches. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our iniquities. Heart of Jesus, obedient even until death. Heart of Jesus, pierced with a lance. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection. Heart of Jesus, our peace and reconciliation. Heart of Jesus, victim for our sins. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who hope in you. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in you. Heart of Jesus, the light of all saints. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Jesus, meek and humble of heart. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, look upon the heart of thy most beloved Son, and upon the praises and satisfaction which he offers thee in the name of sinners, 
and to those who implore thy mercy and thy great goodness, grant forgiveness in the name of the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Okay, thank you very much. Well. 